So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and this video is kind of an example of why you should never assume that something you know is common knowledge. When I released the guide on how to get parts for Octavia, I showed a short clip of me running around ODS with the Necros and the Atarax. And I was really confused when I received about 30 messages asking me what the hell kind of setup I was using in there because it looked really strong. I just assumed that this is a build that everyone knows and is probably using on their Atarax until I thought about it a little bit more and I've realized that this is one of the most unique builds for a melee weapon that's also pretty hard to get if you haven't had the chance to properly farm the Acolytes. So it's probably not used as much as I originally thought. I mean, I was so sure that everyone knew what this build is about, I never even covered it in a video. And this is actually a trap that I fall into quite often. I just assume that just because I know it, everyone else does as well. So let's finally check out this monster of a build. Now, the reason why this build works oh so well on the Atarax is because it has a really good crit chance, a 3 times crit multiplier, really good status chance of 20%, and it also does the majority of its damage in Slash. It only does 2.3 as Puncture and Impact, and it does 40.5 as Slash. And this is important because Slash procs need a high Slash damage because the damage of the Slash proc is calculated off of Slash. They obviously need at least decent status because otherwise they're not gonna happen and high crit chance with crit multiplier are just a really nice bonus because if you crit with an attack it will calculate the slash proc based on the crit and this works for red crits as well. Now there are a few different variations of the build but this is the one that I personally use. Now it's a 2 forma build where I've added 2 Vs, that's it, so it's not even that expensive. Now, since we're mostly going to use the slide attack, the stance doesn't really matter, so I'm using Burning Wasp, which matches the polarity. Now, the mods I'm using are Prime Pressure Point for just more raw damage, Prime Reach, which is going to give you an enormous amount of range on the slide attack, then I'm using Drifting Contact, which adds 10 seconds to the combo duration, which is really nice, and also increases my status chance by 40%. After that, I've added Blood Rush, which is going to give me a 100% chance to red crit on a slide attack as soon as I get at least a 2 times combo multiplier. This is incredibly strong. Now we also need Weeping Wounds, which allows us to proc status even without using dual stat mods, which is very important because this way when we proc status, we're either gonna stagger the enemies with impact, reduce their damage by 30% for like 8 seconds with puncture, or leave a very, very nasty damage over time effect with slash, which is what we're looking for. After that, I've added Berserker because without it, Atarax can be a little bit slow and it's the best choice for crit-based weapons. After that, I've added Organ Chatter, which is going to bring the crit multiplier up to 5.7 times. This is incredibly strong, especially since it gets doubled for red crit. So if you red crit, your damage is going to be multiplied by 11.4 times. That is a lot. And finally, we're going to use Maiming Strike, which is going to give us flat 90% chance to crit on a slide attack. This is what allows us to red crit with every slide attack. Now before we do a little demonstration, I just want to say that this is the weapon at its worst because the damage is only going to go up as you build up your combo counter, so it's going to get even more ridiculous than this. And this is already pretty ridiculous because we're going to be fighting 20 level 125 bombards. So yeah, even if you're fighting level 125 bombards, it just demolishes them because slash procs ignore armor. And when it comes to the other units, well, ancients for example, feel like they're made out of paper. And I haven't even mentioned Naramon yet, because this is a crit based setup, so if you're using Naramon you have pretty much infinite invisibility. And since it does mostly slash damage, it's also fantastic for farming resources with Necros, because it has a very high chance to decapitate the enemies, allowing you to desecrate them multiple times. So this setup basically allows you to kill anything the game can throw at you, it works really well with Necros for farming resources, and if you're using Naramon, you get permanent invisibility as well. 
it's pretty good. Now, while this build is incredibly strong, I mean, the footage you're watching right now is from a Grenier Kuba flood and the Grenier just meld after like one or two slide attacks, there is a big downside, at least in my opinion. It is boring as sin. It's also a really good way of getting yourself a carpal tunnel because you're gonna be doing slide attacks over and over and over and over and over again. That's it. But I cannot deny that this is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, melee setup in the entire game. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.